I have two kids, a little girl named Bella and a little boy named Joseph. So I, you know, I needed to take him to school, the daycare. As we were walking there, it, um, I actually fainted. I, I don't even remember it. You know, I was severely, severely anemic. I just kept attributing to the fact that I'm a new mom. I meet with my GI doctor and I, you know, I walked in the room and, and you know, saw her face, like she was clearly upset. And, you know, I actually saw on the computer screen that, you know, tumor and, and I think it was 3.93 inches. And she had to deliver the news that I had a rare form of pancreatic cancer. You know, I mean, she was so kind and, you know, she was crying with me and I just said, I, you know, I have a husband and I have two little kids. You know, I have to live. When you're diagnosed with cancer, you instantly start Googling, but I, I stumbled upon the Luskarten Foundation. The survivor stories were so inspiring to me. They actually found people that lived. And I remember reading them over and over and over again and, and saying like, I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna survive, I'm gonna beat this. I'm gonna spread hope. Tomorrow's a new day. You know, anything can happen. Anything is possible. You know, tomorrow there could be a cure for pancreatic cancer tomorrow. That became my mantra through the rest of my, my cancer journey. You know, after the fifth cycle of chemo, my surgeon said, you know, okay, unfortunately, again, your, your tumor did not shrink, but I'm gonna go for it. You know, my oncologist said, I, you know, I just want you to know that only four hospitals in the country would have even performed the surgery that he did. He saved my life. I want to help other people. And again, I'm just, I'm so grateful, so grateful to be alive.